Hey, so I know I should be in bed. It's like one fifty in the morning. I have to be back up by 8 o'clock. But after doing that video and continuously replying to messages um, on Tumblr, you know, who argues over Tumblr? But my spirits and my just, you know, part of my confidence is down. And I know I shouldn't allow anyone to do that but it, it's it's draining when you are being bashed you know for not doing this not doing that I don't understand and I don't know if you know people that come at me are ones who are in the closet about their HIV status I know that for me it was two closets I had to open up and come out you know and I just had a conversation the other night with someone who who was positive, who is positive for 14 years, and um, never vocalized it or anything like that. Scared of being rejected, which is understandable. But I was being criticized for just being so open, just being, um, I guess you know, one of the people who is. I'm not sure if it's in the right way, but laying down the foundation or, or paving the way, like helping others pave the way to just speak and just be open and honest. You know, it's it's discouraging when you have your own people fighting against you and meaning your own people, like people who are positive and, you know, trying to fight for things. And, you know, it's a hard situation when you're in, you're stuck, you know, you you're trying to get a way out, you're trying to fight, you're trying to help others not to become that number, you're trying to help others not to become that statistic. And, uh, well, statistics, I don't know if y'all seen my other videos, but I can never pronounce that word right. <laughs> but I'm very frustrated, I'm, I'm hurt and I'm bothered, and I'm discouraged, and I'm trying to hold my emotions back, but it is a difficult I'm just having a difficult moment right now, and I don't know how to deal with it except by doing this video and you know telling y'all about it and hopefully getting some feedback from it. But I don't know if the same thing happens to others who are in this community who is doing what they feel is right, you know, what they uh, feel. I don't know. It just <laughs> right now my words are tripped up, and I'm just. Ugh, I'm just so aggravated right now, and ugh, I don't know how to deal with it, and I'm trying to con uh, contain it, but it's hard right now, and I just feel like, part of me just feel like just leaving everything alone, just pushing it to the side, just deleting everything, just make it even look like I wasn't even a part of this whole thing, and just leave, just live my separate life and private life again, but I know I can't do that. I know that I won't allow myself to do it, but at this moment, that's what I feel, and that's how aggravated and upset and uh, sad I am, you know, so I don't know if you ever experienced this before or what, but try not to let anyone tear you down. Just keep pushing forward. Do what you feel as though is right. You express how you feel. You express how, whichever way you want to get your message out, you do it. Some people may get aggravated from it. Some people may get tired of seeing it. May unfollow you, may unfriend you, just may block you all at one time. So they won't see the constant messages that you post. But it's sad to say that people are steady becoming positive. And, you know, it's, it's something that's preventable. And if I had a chance to go back in time and fix you know, what happened, I wouldn't be in a situation. I don't want to wish this on no one. You know, I put myself in this place. How am I going to get myself out of it? But I know a way of continuing on my life, and I know how to move past it. We'll try to move past it by taking my medicine, seeing a doctor, talking to my case manager, getting a therapist if I need, just writing video blogs, just doing things that helps me and sharing things that may help others you know 
I don't know what the whole thing is with people within the community of HIV AIDS fighting against one another. It's difficult when you're trying to help others. I don't know if, you know, um, if they want other people's be want other people to come become infected with the virus. I don't know if they are hating others for being so open with it. I don't know and I don't understand why people like myself is being bashed or people like myself is being talked about for just being honest. I wish that someone had told me years ago that they was positive. I wish I was given a second choice and just being just having a second choice to where I know what type of decision I'm going to make. You know, I made my own decision by not asking, like I said before, not using a condom, being talked out of using one. You know, I did that to myself. But I'm not going to allow the next person to fall in that same situation. And I think that's all for right now. I'm just going to turn this thing off and everything else off and just go to bed. And hopefully... I'll be better in the morning. So, I may have been on a rant, but I just hope someone out there just to listen to me. Because sometimes that's good to do. Just listen to someone. So, I don't know. I'm still frustrated and all over the place right now. But, thanks for listening.